guys, Josh here from Iron Shop. I wanted to jump on today and show y'all a few pieces that we're going to be releasing tonight, midnight, um, March 15th, from Rogue Territory. This is a jumper shirt. Um, I'll point out a few things that I really like about this shirt. Um, the, the Japanese flannel, it's a beautiful colorway. It's deep. It's probably about a nine and a half ounce flannel, based on my math. I've got an extra large here. I've got it on top of a number five Slubby UEST. Um, kind of going for an oversized look, comfortable with the weather. Um, a little warmer uh, springs here in Louisiana. I wanted to be something comfortable. I really like the way Carl does his interior pocket. Kind of giving you a little bit of a substantial feel in the chest, even having a single pocket shirt. Um, but overall, great fit, great weight to this shirt. Um, it doesn't feel like an inexpensive, lightweight flannel. It has some heft to it without being, um, you know, too heavy for spring. Um, it's got a nice little slug feel to it as well. Like I said, beautiful color. I think I photoed it in um, some uh, faded uh, denim jeans. So it pairs well with your denim. It'll pair well with uh, chinos, a khaki color. I've got an olive uh, work pan on right now. Um, also, I've had it on with a pair of uh, sateen olive green fatigues. Um, great piece. Uh, moving on to the uh, Explorer shirt. It's the uh, same weight fabric, fabric. It's nine and a half ounce, like slubby vintage style um, flannel from Japan. You might can see the, the, the slub a little better in this one on camera. It's got the double pockets. I'm going to do the same extra large in this one. Um, again, it pairs really well with olive greens. Um, would look really good in a black denim. So you get the uh, heel shirt, you get the double pockets on the chest, flaps. Um, got it on, a, like I said, on a pretty heavy t-shirt with an extra large. Chain stitch runoffs. Great piece, guys. I'd probably change my hat to a black hat. But I love the uh, colorway. It's kind of a rusty red color. And again, I think it pairs really nice with um, olive fatigues or work pants, um, black pants, denim. You're set. You're set. Uh, the last thing that I'm going to show you is the uh, the 13 and a half ounce cryptic denim uh, service shirt. It's, uh, it feels a little large on me, so I'm going to go with the large on this one. Um, it's a great heavy denim, but maybe I should use the word starchy. It's 13 and a half ounce, but it doesn't feel um, to uh, feel substantial. It doesn't feel flimsy by no means. Got the hand warmer pockets. That's a nice length to it. Again, change this runoff. Great details. Carl does the pin slot in the, uh, the flat pocket in line with a Adobe uh, Indigo. Same thing on the collar. The placket's got the Selvage ID. Uh, it's a little pink, a real light, faint pink uh, ticker. Great piece. Can't wait to uh, get this broken in. Start seeing some of you guys broke in shots. They always look uh, prettier with age. Um, also, really appreciate the snaps on this dark bronze snap. Um, if you're doing like this, I don't always want a button unless they just use the perfect size buttons. Uh, the snaps are easy for us, especially being a welding shop. One of my guys decided to cop this shirt. Um, Buttons will seem to burn off with threads and whatnot, and snaps are a lot easier for uh, workwear uh, for us. But, uh, check it out. We're going to be releasing it tonight, March 15th. We're excited about it. Uh, three great pieces. Hit us up if you guys have any questions. Measurements will be online. Um, if you're not subscribed already, subscribe to our uh, social medias. And uh, uh, comment. We love interacting, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks.